Hey guys, welcome back to my new training series, Going Remote. Over the next 30 days, I'm posting as many videos as I possibly can to help you move your work from offline to online. Today's video is all about how to host a live workshop or training. So if you were doing any type of workshop in person before this, I'm gonna show you how to move it online. The tool that we're going to use for this is called Crowdcast. I've been using it for a few years now and I am a total fan. It's reliable, you're going to get quality video and you get real time live chat so that your attendees can talk with you there. So I'm gonna show you exactly what to do step by step so that you can start hosting live workshops or trainings online ASAP. I do have an affiliate link for Crowdcast. If you wanna click the link in the description below and use that, I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, go to crowdcast.io. So you can start with a free 14 day trial. Let me just show you that. Here is the pricing, so you can check that out and what each different plan includes. But yeah, this is the free trial. You get 10 live attendees and 30 minute sessions. So all you have to do is click start trial, and then you're just going to enter your email and create a password agree to the terms of service and then click one more step. So you will have to type in your credit card information, but don't worry, you won't be charged until you pick a plan. Okay, so then you're just gonna click start trial and this will create your account. Okay, now just type in your name and hit save. Awesome, so you can just X out of these. So to create your first live event, you're just gonna go up here and click new event. So first you're gonna start with your event title. So this works for any type of live training or workshop that you want to host. So let's go ahead and type in the title. Let's say I'm going to do a live coaching session. So I'm just gonna type live coaching. Then you can schedule it. So you're gonna click edit and I'm just gonna go with single event type. And if you click on the date right here, this is going to bring out a calendar. So you can just select the date there and select the time with these drop downs as well. So let's say I wanna do 11 a.m. Okay, great. Hit done. Then here is where you would type in your event description. And then you can decide if you want this to be publicly listed on your Crowdcast profile or you want this to be unlisted. For now, we're just going to leave this so that anyone who signs up for the event is going to be able to watch it for free. I'll talk at the end of this video about accepting payments for your event, so stay tuned for that. Okay, so you're gonna hit save, and I'm just gonna X out of these so I can continue teaching you guys. Okay, so this is what the back end of Crowdcast looks like. As you can see, we have a countdown to our event. So before we dive in to how to actually host your event, I'm gonna show you how to customize the signup page. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is click on your name right up here. Click edit, and you're going to add a profile picture here. So just click select file, add a photo, Okay, great, and you can change your username if you would like. Okay, great, so we're gonna hit save. And you can also update this cover photo here, so just click update cover photo, select file, and add a cover photo as well. Okay, great, so let's go back to our event. Now what you're going to do is click edit and you'll see that we have a few more tabs that we can customize. The first one is cover. So this is how you add a cover photo for your event. So just change this to yes right here. And now we need to upload a file. You'll see that the recommended dimensions are 1200 by 630. So what I would recommend you use for this is Canva. Canva is my favorite free design software. So anytime you need to create a graphic in your business, that is the software that you should be using. So this is what the back end of Canva looks like. And as you can see, here are a few graphics that I've created for past trainings. Basically, I'm just saying, you know that it's free. Here's the title, who it's hosted by, and then the date, time, and link for it as well. So yeah, all you need to do is download this as a PNG. I will post some more trainings on Canva to my channel. So definitely hit subscribe below so that you don't miss those.
Okay, so for now, let's go back into Crowdcast. We're gonna click Select File, and we're going to upload that graphic. Awesome, so now we're gonna hit Save. And let's check out what this looks like for someone who is going to sign up for your event. So you're gonna click Options, and then View Registration Page. And as you can see, this is what the page looks like so far. So we have the title, date, we have the countdown, a button for them to save their spot, the cover photo and event description. So when someone wants to sign up for the event, all they need to do is click save my spot and then type in their email in order to join the event or they can sign in with one of these options here. Okay, great, so let's go back into edit mode. The next tab is registration. So if you want, you can collect more information from your attendees, but I'm happy with just collecting the name and email, which happens by default. Then we have multi streams. So if you want, you can actually enable streams and you can stream into Facebook, YouTube, Periscope, or custom as well. I'm not gonna cover this in this video. If this is something you would like to learn how to do, let me know in the comments down below. Then we're gonna to go to advanced, and here is where you customize a bit more about the event. So first you're gonna to want to create a custom URL. So I'm gonna get rid of those letters and numbers, and I'm gonna change this to something more custom. Okay, great. You can limit seats, you can accept contributions, you can customize the registration button. So by default, it says save my spot, but you can change what that says if you want. This is most important here. So I love this. They're going to automatically send a registration email and they're going to send a reminder email 10 minutes before the event starts. So you can just keep both of those on to make that happen. You can hide your attendees if you want. So if you don't want everyone to see how many other people are there, you can simply um, change this to yes. And you can also add in your Facebook pixel. All right, so let's hit save. And now it's time to show you the back end of Crowdcast. Okay, so first we have live chat over here on the right side. So I love this because this is all in real time. I've never experienced a delay. So this is going to allow your audience to chat with you as you're presenting live. So as an audience member, they would just come in here and then they would type in a comment. Okay, they'll hit enter and you'll be able to see it as well as everyone else who's attending the event. If you ever were to need, you can always hover over it and you can actually ban the attendee and delete any comments if necessary, but usually that, that doesn't happen. <laughs> okay, the next tab is people. So here is where you can click to see everyone that has signed up for the event. Then we have analytics. So this is going to give you some important data for your event. Uh, for example, how people are finding your event, where in the world that they are. Then we have polls. So if you want, you can create a poll for your audience. Then we have a ask a question tab. So this is where I would direct your attendees to come if they have a question that they want you to answer. So you just tell them to go there, then they can simply click ask a question and then write their question here. What is your fave software? Okay, and then they're gonna hit enter and all questions will show up here. So I generally will get everyone to put their questions here um, and then you can respond to them all at the end. Okay, great. The next tab is call to action. So if you click on this, you can actually add a button below your video. So let's say you want to sell something else on this free training, you can absolutely do that. You would come up here and type in something like buy now then you would put in the link for your sales page. Let's pretend it's my website. <laughs> and then you can hit save. So as you can see right now, it says hide. So this is really helpful. When it gets to the point in your presentation where you want, where you want to sell, then what you can do is you can simply click call to action and then show, and this is going to add the button to the bottom of your video. And it's gonna be a green button for your audience. So yeah, that's a really handy feature. So now let's prepare you to go live. So to go live, you're going to click prepare to go live, and then you're going to click enter green room with webcam. 
Okay, awesome. So you're going to need to allow a few things. So I'm going to allow access there. Then you're going to be able to see what your webcam looks like and if your mic is working. So you're just going to hit save and then this is going to load in your video. Okay, so to enable your camera and mic, just click yes, let's go. So now you can see yourself on video. You can X out of this right here. Make any adjustments that you need. Okay, great. So the main thing you need to know is that you can do this. You can also share your screen. So you're just going to hover over you and then you'll see this little computer icon that says share screen. Click on that and then you'll be able to share your entire screen or application window. So I would actually recommend choosing application window and then it will just show that specific program that you want to demo. So for example, let's say I was teaching how to use Canva. I would select that and then click share. And this is what it looks like by default to focus in on your screen share. Just click this icon right up here to focus your screen. Awesome. And then you can go about teaching. So this is a fantastic way to teach any live workshop. Um, here you can click to close message so that you can see it better. And then you can just simply go ahead and start doing your teaching. Love this program. I think you will as well. It's going to allow you to host any event or workshop that you need to. And at any point you can come up here, you can unfocus the screen or you can close it. So I'm just going to close that and then it would go back to me. So you can go in between those. Okay. So, so far we have been in the green room to go live. All you have to do is click go live. Then yes, let's go. So it's going to give you a countdown and then you are officially live and can begin your workshop. When you are done, simply click end broadcast. And then you can give it a thumbs up if all went well. You can give Crowdcast feedback or you can skip it. And now it's going to automatically generate a replay of your workshop. So one thing I love about Crowdcast is the replay is the same link as your live workshop. So simply share that link again and this time they'll be able to sign up for the replay. And there's one more thing I want to cover before we wrap up this training and that's how to create a paid event. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to create a new event course, fill in this information here, then where it says access, you're going to change this to payment. Okay. And you'll see that you can add a fixed or sliding scale pricing. I'm just going to do fixed and I'm going to, let's say charge $50 for this workshop. Here you can choose your currency and then you can actually add coupons as well if you would like. Okay. So let's do test paid event and hit save. So now when someone goes to sign up for your event, since it's paid, this is what they will see right here. So the final thing you need to do in order to accept payments is come up here to your top left, go down to your settings, and then integrations and you will need to connect your Stripe account. So Stripe is how we easily accept credit card payments online. So you're going to want to set up an account with them and then you'll be able to connect to this and anyone who wants to sign up will be able to pay via credit card. So yeah, that is it for this training. You now know how to host any free live workshop or training that you want to do as well as charge for events as well. If you have any questions at all, just let me know in the comments below and definitely share this out if you think others will benefit from it. All right guys, that's it for today's video. I hope it was helpful for you. If it was, please let me know in the comments below. And if you know of someone that would benefit from this information, please share it with them. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon with another video.